I guess it's afternoon. So, good afternoon, everybody. It's Kathy Bedell at MyStampinSpot.com. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to work on, for 10 Minute Tuesday, the spotlight technique. Very simple, very easy. I love it. I just want to mention, if you haven't seen my... Uh, why do I need that Stamparatus video series? I just started yesterday. It'll be the last Monday of every month. You can go over to YouTube to see it. Search my stamping spot on YouTube. But if you purchase a Stamparatus, which is $49 before shipping and handling and taxes and all that good stuff, and you use this hostess code, I will give you one of these Stamparatus bags for free. That's this week only. It's got a lot of good pockets. If you own a Stamparatus, all you have to do is spend $49, and I will ship you one for free. Um, and if you're not into the Stamparatus, that's okay. This is great for tools, scrapbookers. It's got inside pockets. It's got outside pockets. So something to think about. All right. Let's start. We are using Poppy Parade cardstock. I am going to cut Poppy Parade, which I did not bring over. Oh, I found it. I'm going to score Poppy Parade at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, and then cut it at five and a half. Like so. It gives me two bases. Hey, Gay. Adrian, how you doing? Thank you for sharing. Karen, how are you? Um, so, Poppy Parade, cut it. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, then we need Whisper White, which I forgot to grab a sheet, so I'm going to use this piece that I have on hand. I'm going to cut this four inches. You probably actually want to cut two of these at a time so you can line your card. I'm not going to. By five and a quarter. That's going to be the top layer of my card, and then I'll use the extra piece as scrapbooking. Hey, Barbara, KB, thanks for joining me. We're making this card, super simple spotlight technique. Putting my cutter aside because I do not think I need it. All right, I'm going to fold my card base, pop that over to the side, and I am going to be using... Painted Poppies, it's $23, and it is in the new catalog. We're going to use this image. So I'm going to pop that over the side. Those are the dies that accompany it, if you like it. This makes a great wreath at Christmas. And I am going to put a piece of scrap paper down because I may be stamping off the page. Just I seem so serious today, don't I? How's everybody doing today? I need a bigger block, I think. Okay. Now we have uh, Memento ink because we are going to be coloring with blends. But first I want to show you what I'm going to do here. To get this nice straight line, I'm just going to take my clear ruler and I am not going to, you know, you could measure up so far. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to line it up at the bottom of the white paper and very, 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 very lightly draw a pencil line. I don't know if you can see that, but. And that's how I'm going to line my poppies up here. So I'm just going to stamp them on like so. And it's okay if I overlap them a little bit because that circle is going to go in the middle like that. And on my scrap paper, I am going to just ink up. You know what? I have to cut the scrap paper in half because I'm going to use my little shot as opposed to my big boss. I'm going to use the baby boss, as Karen says. So I'm just going to ink up one of these for my little circle, like so. Whoop! <laughs> now, I don't know if I needed to do that more in the center. So these are my layering circles dies. These are awesome. And I am going to use the second smallest. So this coordinates with this. These plain ones coordinate with these scallop ones well. So if I'm using the second on this side, I'm going to use the second on this side. And just pop those away. Oh, I didn't start with my lovely cards today that I got sent. Well, I'll do that at the end. Okay, so this is going to fit. 
So I'm going to pull my boss out, my baby boss. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. That offer for a free storage bag is awesome. Anyone contemplating purchasing a Stampin' Radish should jump on that. Yay, yay, it's true. It's very true. And the Stampin' Radish is so awesome, as you will see over the coming weeks. It's great when you need to make quite a few of the same card. So I'm just going to run this through to get my little spotlight piece. There we go. And I'm going to put that over there. And then I just have a little scrap of red. Actually, it's not red. It's Poppy Parade. Whoops, and I don't want that shape. I want the scallop shape. And I'm going to run that through. I'm actually considering getting more of these little mini cotton bosses, a baby boss, um, to put in the center of each one of my stamping tables because it is a way more convenient size than I ever realized it was going to be. I'm going to get rid of this scrap paper now. Oh, no, I can't get rid of the scrap paper because I am going to need it. The scrap paper really shifts around on this um, background I have going. All right, let me just put my two dies over here so I don't lose them. All right, now, this is super fun and super simple. I, first, actually, before I assemble my card, I'm going to just measure about how much ribbon I need. And I need a pair of scissors. Thank you, Joelle. Yep. Good thing Joelle's here. Yay, Joelle. Yeah. All right, watch what we're going to do. So this is the um, crinkled seam binding ribbon. It's awesome. You know what I love best about this ribbon? You can take any of your alcohol markers, use the fat side. Don't do it point side down. Go sideways like this. Let me put it down on the white so you can see it better. And change the color so that it matches your papers, your DSP. And it dries pretty quickly because it's alcohol-based. I'm going to just turn this around. So you might get a little on your hands, but it's not going to be a nightmare. Okay. So this is the Dark Poppy Parade marker. I'm not going to put that too far because we're going to use that to color this. I just wanted to do that so that it would dry a little bit. Hey, Erica. How are you? Good to see you. All right. I have to sit down so I won't be able to see your comments for a minute. I have to sit down because otherwise I can't see what I'm coloring here because of the way the phone's in the way. And I apologize. I'm not using the fine point. I'm using the thicker point on the marker to do this just so that I can save my fine point. That brush end on these blends breaks down very easy. So unless I'm actually blending colors, I tend to try to stay away from it now. That was not the case always when I first started using them. These blends are awesome, but if you apply too much pressure to the paintbrush side, if you've never seen them, one side's like a paintbrush almost. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that with the red there. And the other side is more like a regular marker. That paintbrush side tends to like, like flare out if there's too much pressure on it. So I'm trying to um, save that side for when I'm trying to blend colors. With this particular technique, this is called the spotlight technique. I'm not really looking to get a whole lot of dimension. In fact, the simpler the better here because um, the focus really is what's going on here. Like that. I probably could do a better job, but we're gonna go with it. So now I have my little line. I have my ribbon. I'm gonna take my stamp and seal, and I'm just gonna put a little adhesive on the back like this that I can attach my ribbon to. Just so I make sure I get it over my pencil line so I don't have to worry about erasing it or anything. 
pull it nice and tight. Then I am going to go back over and add seal. And here's my little trick. I put tape right over the ribbon ends to make sure that it stays nice and shut. Now, this is a little tricky because I always tell people to stamp everything before you apply it in case you make a mistake. Um, for some reason, both times, I'm just adjusting this ribbon down a little bit because it's a little bit crooked. For some reason, when I made the sample card and just now, I chose not to stamp my greeting until after it was together. So I'm going to push that out like that so I'm just on the one layer because if I have any bumps underneath, um, you won't get a good clean image. I'm using Happy Birthday from the Sweet Ice Cream set. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Upside down is where it is. I happen to love everything about this set, and I'm so sad that the DSP is going away for it. We only have a couple more days to purchase that DSP, but it is awesome. So, because this is totally clear, I feel confident doing this before I add this to my card for it. Here we go. You probably could have, before you even attached the ribbon, stamped it. For me, visually, I needed the red line to be able to gauge how far up and down it goes. It's kind of a personal preference visual thing. I'm going to just pop this onto the scallop circle. Like that. Now I'm going to get rid of this. And then I'm just going to take a couple dimensionals. Maybe three. Now, sometimes, depending on your image, you would really want to line this poppy up. This poppy right here is this one. And so sometimes you'd want to line it right up. In this case, because I stamped it multiple times, I'm just going to kind of raise it up and put it above. But I, I could have put it off to the side over here if that was my choice. I just didn't really feel like I wanted to do that today. <laughs> so that's it. That was pretty quick and easy, wasn't it? Was I under 10 minutes? I think I might have been under 10 minutes. All right, before we go, I just want to show you a couple things. See, I always have my notes, right? This is my In Color Card Club. You will get everything needed to make these five kits. This is all DSP. This will all be pre-punched. Everything's pre-cut. You'll get the instructions, the envelopes. All you need is a stamp set to stamp a greeting. You'll even get the little embellishments. These will be ready to go. You'll just stamp them and put them together. Along with the five card kits, you will get a half pack. Now this is coming in the new catalog. This is pretty exciting. And this stuff is fabulous. This is six by 12. Should you choose to purchase this class, you will get it cut. I'm sorry, this is 12 by 12. Yours will be cut 6 by 12. I hope, can you see the shimmer in that? These are all the new in colors. I'm trying to get it separated. Look at that pink. Look at that. See the shimmer? So it's not like glitter paper. It's more subtle than that. It's um, kind of like when you use Wink of Stella on a cardstock and you get that glimmer without being in your face glitter. It's the beautiful purples and that beautiful papaya color, which I have to tell you, I was not a fan of um, until I started working with it. This color, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. So you'll get, along with these five card kits, half pack of this ve vellum, cut six by 12. You will get a full package of the In Color DSP. I mean, this is $11.50 alone, and there are some beautiful different patterns in the five colors. That is, uh, I think it's 48 sheets. No, it is 40 sheets. You will get a full pack of these in-color gems, which you can see I've already started to use them. These are fabulous, too. It made me sad. Our pre-order, we can only get one package of these. I would have used these on everything I had done. Yeah, you can see them against the white better. So you'll get a full package of these. You will get a ribbon share. 
So you don't get five spools of ribbon, but you get two yards of each that we will package up nicely of the five colors. This is a lot like the old um, celebration ribbon that everybody went nuts over. It's great to tie into bows. It's very elegant. So you get two yards of each of those colors. And then in the catalog, there is a pack of paper that gives you four sheets of the five colors. You will get that full size. So you get 20 sheets in the combination of the five colors. All of that is $46 mailed to your door. If you're local and you want a porch pickup, it's $38. So $38 for all that product plus the five card kits. And like I said, these pansies are cut out of DSP. It's all ready to go and ready to assemble. That's an awesome deal right there. I have one more special to show you real quick. Do you love to collect the new ink colors? That is, let me put these cards off to the side so that it's, you can see the real beauty of them. This is polished pink. It's a beautiful pink. That is fresh freesia. We have soft succulent. We have pale papaya and we have evening evergreen, which is awesome. So this is a club. It's five months. You could do it by subscription. Hi, Corinna. Thank you for sharing. Um, Corinne, I'm sorry. Um, this is a club. It goes five months. Every month you get a different color family. You'll get an ink pad. You'll get an ink refill. You'll also get the set of blends that coordinates with the color of the month. You will also get the stamp and write marker that coordinates with the color of the month. And this is all five months. So you can go to mystampingspot.com and you can sign up there and it will bill you automatically every month on the same day of the month. Or you can email me and I can send you an invoice if you prefer to do it that way. Um, if you're local and you want to do a local pickup, email me uh, because I won't charge you shipping, obviously. So for this card club, every month you'll get four card kits. Now, they won't be these cards, but it'll be like this. Everything will be ready to go. All you will need is a stamp set. You'll get four card kits each month. So at the end of the five months, you've got 20 card kits with envelopes and directions. You'll get one ink color ink pad, one ink refill, one set of the Stampin', Stampin Blends, one Stampin' Write in the coordinating color, and four sheets of the DSP that matches each family. And in addition, I'm going to give you eight card bases that will be cut and scored. So on Fresh Freesia Month, you'll get eight cut and scored card bases. Okay, and the cost of that is $38 shipped to your door monthly. If you want to do a porch pickup, um, it's $30. Email me for that option. Do you want it all? Do you want it all at once? Are you impatient? Do you not want to wait five months to get all these gorgeous colors? Then it's $165 shipped or $150 porch pickup. You will get all of this. Plus, you'll get the 20 card kits that are ready to go. All you'll need is a greeting and whatever ink of the month. Um, and because that totals $150 for this, I'll also throw in a set of the in color gems, which I just showed you, and I just misplaced them. The beautiful in color gems and a full package of the envelopes. So if I ship it to you, it's $165 shipped. $150 porch pickup, and you get a full package of envelopes and the gems, the in color gems to free for free to match it all. Okay, Whew, that was a lot. You can check Facebook for all the details. You can look for my emails. If you haven't signed up for my email, um, sign up, go to mystampingspot.com and add your name to the list. Um, emails will be going out all week on it. And um, the only catch with the In Color Club is that I'm seeing that some of the blends are already on back order. Believe it or not, the demonstrators have really chewed them up and love them. I also think that there might have been shipping delays because of that whole fiasco that took place over in the canal. So there is a delay on some things. So the color you get first will be determined by what is totally in stock and I can get shipped out on time. If anything's not available when I go to ship, 
I will ship it to you at no extra expense as soon as it's available. Okay? All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you like this spotlight technique. It's pretty quick and easy. And um, if you have any questions on all these cards, Facebook message me, shoot me a text, call me. Um, and I don't know. I guess that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.